Now, powering up the camera itself, the display. You can either hardwire the display into your truck, so it comes with a, a 12 volt connection here, red and black, and then it would power the display. Or, if you wanna make it easier on yourself, I don't like these, these solutions because the, the, the cable gets in the way and it's just one more thing in the cab of the truck. But if you want to and you don't wanna hardwire it, it does come with a 12 volt adapter and then you would just plug it into your cigarette lighter and then plug into your camera and then power it that way. The neat thing about this is you can actually have, there's an on and off button, so you can just turn it on and off as needed. You could leave it into your 12 volt power if you'd like. Uh, some of them, like on the front of our truck, there's actually uh, up on the top, there's an embedded area where you can, we can plug in like a, a MP3 player and stuff like that. It has a 12 volt up there, so I could put that in there, uh, but I just prefer hardwired. It's, it's just more, more uh, beneficial to me. Wiring customization, we're now putting the antenna on, the last part of the installation. So coming up from the back of the camera, we've got the cable coming. And rather than to run all the way to the front, what we did is we stopped here at the air conditioner, we took the shroud off of the air conditioner, and put all the extra cable inside the air conditioner and used the plumber strap. That's Greg's idea, quick thumbs up there. So it's all nice and protected here, it's not gonna go anywhere. And then we use two of their tie down straps to make sure that it doesn't rub on the metal so the cable is protected. And then what we're gonna do is put the antenna on the front of the shroud and we should be done. All right, so here we go, final shot. Antenna on the AC shroud. Walking back to the back. Cable goes back. Quick connect there from the rear camera. Off to the rear camera. So we've got all three cameras installed both sides and the rear, and now we're in the cab of Greg's truck. And what he's done is taken a couple of rubber bands temporarily and mounted it to his rear view mirror, which I think is great, because now it's not on his dash, you don't have to worry about it. Um, he's gonna look into making a 3D printed version of a device that fits there. If I can find it in time before I publish this video, I'll go ahead and give you guys a link to it down below. But what we can see right now is we've got the rear view, see a little bit of his garage, and then we've got the left and right of the trailer and now we're gonna go for a quick drive and record and show you how well this works all right so we're rolling down the freeway at 55 miles an hour here's the camera view everything is working great um, I think Greg's pretty impressed with me able to see cars coming from way up back here here comes one here and then you'll see him come into the side here he left the rear he's coming up the side now and there he is I don't know if I'm in focus, so clearly that's a great advantage to driving. You can see the guys coming from the rear and up the side of your vehicle, and then as soon as they come off the camera, they're basically in their driver's window. Hey there folks, that's about a wrap to this video. Just some closing thoughts. Um, first off, of course I was joking about throwing the manual away. Please do yourself a favor and read through that manual. There's a lot of great information in there. Uh, of course, the video will help, but the manual is key to getting yourself uh, successful in uh, installing this device. Uh, some highlights. So one thing in the display of this device is that spot to put an SD card. This is a game changer, and uh, Furion should get on board here because <laughs> this is really nice. It records all three cameras independently. So when you looked at the video when Greg and I were going down the road, you saw the three different videos. The rear camera was on top, and the two side cameras accordingly on the sides on the bottom. But it records all three files independently. That is awesome. So think about it if you're in your RV and you're stopped and you get rear-ended. A lot, a lot of people don't have a, a dash cam, quote unquote dash cam, for the back of their RV. That is awesome. You could also put a special plug in your umbilical cord on your RV so that it sends power back to the taillights. So you could actually use this device as a security camera system for your RV. Um, Greg had a 64 gigabyte card in, uh, in his display and that will record 72 hours of, of drive time or 72 hours in your RV park. That's plenty of time to know that if it's going to rewrite over itself, um, you need to save the file. Um, you can set it up either way so that it just stops recording at 72 hours or that it starts to loop so that after your memory card gets full, it just starts overriding the oldest file. That's how I do it on my dash cam and I think it works really, really well. 
The only thing negative that I could say for this device from Halo View is the two side cameras have uh, antennas coming up on them. I don't have antennas on the Furion version, and I think it's cleaner and it just looks better. Fortunately, um, here's a picture here, I'll pop up of Greg's. The way we lined it up is the antenna just kind of goes right up one of the uh, seams in his RV. So you don't even really see it. Um, if it was down below, I think that's how it's intended from Halo View is, you know, on the bottom of the RV. It could get in the way. You could bump into it as you're walking past. Um, you might want to tip it down. Up could be in, in the way, depending on how your RV is laid out. Um, but I highly recommend that you try to get it up higher like that because you can get a nice uh, tops down view of the traffic coming at you. And I think, I think that's really nice. I really, really like the SD card so that I can record those. Okay, I'll pop up real quickly a view of each one as we go down the road. It's really neat, it's really a game changer to have the ability to have uh, all three cameras record independent files of their view. Really cool. Great job, Halo View. I think you guys really hit the nail on the head on that one. If you have any questions, uh, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks for watching. Bye. So if you haven't done so yet, please remember to hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell so that it reminds you when we post new videos. Mm -hmm.